Hello my friends. In this modeling project, I am building the Tiger 1, late production, in scale 1 to 72 by Trumpeter. It is actually my first model kit in this scale, because my favorites are in 1 to 35, and as far as the Black Hawk by Hasegawa concerned, I actually built that after the Tiger 1. The following project is inspired by real events. This is the box of the Tiger 1, late production, in scale 1 to 72 by Trumpeter. The box includes the plastic parts, sprue and tracks, decal sheet, and a typical black and white manual. Everything seems normal and of good quality, with some nice details. What worries me the most, is the size of everything. Things are so small, and some of the biggest parts, are almost half the size of my hand. Oh, well, I think I will succeed. Let's go. Cutting, and then smoothing out the parts, with the hobby knife and sandpaper. When needed, using the hobby knife carefully in the opposite direction, to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Gluing wheels and drive sprockets. Repeating the process.
completed the soft camera. It has a small cannon and a light. More gluing, including a shovel. Separating these, a bit, and then smoothing them out. Further roughen things up. Done off camera and combining the two halves. More battle wounds. Assembling the turret. Where things weren't properly fitted, I will cover with plastic putty. Masking tape, plastic putty diluted with water, and painting like so. The following technique, I saw it from somewhere else. Saw, and sawing, like so. Basically with this technique, I am trying to emulate the Zimmerit, the paste-like coating, used on mid and late war German armored fighting vehicles, during World War II. Did some work off camera, and all things considered, it went well. Painting will make things even better. Repeating the process.
completed off camera. Attach the wires too. German Panzer Grey Primer, airbrushing. The manual proposes flat yellow for the camouflage painting, but I will use a mix of tan and medium yellow, as well as some white. Airbrushing. Airbrushing with flat brown. flat green.
because I didn't like the previous mix of yellow, redoing with medium and dark yellow mix. Off camera, redid all the colors into a darker tone. Glossy varnish airbrushing, and we'll do a second coating off camera. Plate mail metal. brown pigment, and painting with a hard brush. Pigment fixer, else the pigment on the tracks goes bye bye. Some more brown pigment. Plate male metal on the edges of the wheels and drive sprockets. Finished off camera, and we'll repeat the same to the rest. The pigment on both sides of the tracks has dried. Brushing off the excess pigment. Gun metal gray and plate mail metal, dry brushing. Finished off camera. Mix decal set before placing the decals and mix decal fix afterwards. The first prepares the surface, and the second takes care of any curves, bumps, etc. Pressing with a cotton swab, to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal, without damaging it. 
Special notes, working in such small size, it is extra challenging, so, do not despair. We are only humans. Decal fix off camera. Depending on the decal's placement, you may need to coat twice. Mix of dungeon gray and little bit of plate mail metal. Painting. Finish the wires off camera. Painted with a different metallic gray their endpoints. Painting parts of the tools with gunmetal gray, as well as the weapon on the front. The wooden parts of the tools I did off camera. Painting hull red this box. Off camera, using paper, added straps on the tools, wires, etc., and also painted with silver, the metallic elements of the box. Painting with a mix of tan yellow and brown. Sponge with gray and painting here and there. Repeating with medium rust. Old Rust Straps are done. Super gluing the exhaust system.
super gluing the spare tracks parts, which I had already covered with the synoxid pigment, iron oxide pigment. Quicker chipping with the sponge and a yellow mix of mine. Done off camera. Pans are dark gray, mixed with little bit white, and brush painting for precise control. Completed off camera. Mix of old and dark rust, two to one, and painting, all while, with a second wet brush, gently, fading out the paint.
finished off camera. Dark washing. If, when, needed, removing any excess wash, with a clean brush and enamel odorless thinner. Brown washing. Done with wash. Oil painting with a mix of yellow ochre and burnt umber for additional weathering effects. Applying red-brown pigment, and most probably, I will have to remove the Tourette for easier application.
done off camera with a dark brown mix of mine, painting some dirt and mud in a few key areas, all while with a second wet brush, gently fading out the paint. Completed off camera, damp earth painting. Done and before it will dry, dark earth pigment painting, here and there, but mostly on the upper parts. Did some more work off camera, but it is still wet in most parts. However, I will keep going with oil stains in a few key spots. black painting to give the illusion of the exhaust gas corrosion on metals.
attaching the wheels, sprockets, etc. Begun off camera to place the tracks, super gluing one needed. Off camera did both tracks, dark washing, damp earth here and there. dark earth pigment some more damp earth in a few areas. Repeating the process, but with dark earth pigment. Splashing pigment mixed with little bit of thinner.
some more gun metal gray and plate mail metal, dry brushing. To give you an idea of the scale and the size of the tank, here, it is on my fingers, palm, and index finger. Hopefully, you like the project and you will enjoy the presentation. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please, do share your words of wisdom in the comments below.
Hit the like, subscribe, and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.